They say the revolution won't be televised, but maybe it will be Zoomed. Maybe it will be Zoomed. So because of the COVID restrictions that are now in place in Asheville, North Carolina, I am making Silicon Dojo be, to be basically an online first business, at least for the next six months or so. And one of the things that I was trying to figure out was how to do office hours. I believe office hours is probably one of the most important things about Silicon Dojo. The idea of actually having real communication, the idea of having people talk to each other, uh, all of that kind of thing. And so so if I can't do it in person, what I decided to do was to use Zoom and do office hours today using Zoom. And it was an interesting experience. So basically, I just took two hours out of my life and had people come on to the Zoom call and ask their questions. And then I responded to them. Well, I don't know. We went through maybe like eight people today. But the curious part of this is, is not only did I have people from the United States, but I had people from Israel. I had somebody from Ethiopia, somebody from Rwanda. Wanda, somebody from Bangalore, somebody from Germany, a Portuguese person who is now in Germany. And it kind of makes you wonder about how, how do we structure ourselves as a society? And with technology, are there new ways to structure how we do things? Like basically the idea of there are people around the world that want you know technology training and that type of thing. And maybe using products such as Zoom, we can actually create I don't know, individual educational programs to be able to support all of these people around the world. Uh, there's a whole concept of being a global citizen. And I don't know, having the conversation today with somebody in Ethiopia, Rwanda, Bangalore, Germany, Chicago, think about it. We all, we all care about the same things. We're all interested in the same things. We are all trying to solve the problems in generally the same way. Are we, as human beings, are we bound together simply because of flags? Or are we bound together based off of how we see the world? And if we're bound together by how we see the world, and people are now able to communicate with each other all around the world, um, very, very simply, what does that mean for society in general? And then think about what does that mean for your business? Could you be a business in the middle of Arkansas essentially with a customer base in the middle of Israel, right? Could you, be, could you be in Chicago supporting folks in Rwanda? You know, 20 years ago, that was darn near an impossibility. 15 years ago, it could have been done and it really would have sucked. Uh, 10 years ago, it could have been done, but it was pretty expensive. And now, you know, 15 bucks a month for a Zoom account, and all of a sudden, you're able to communicate relatively easily with anybody on the planet. It's a hell of a thing. The revolution will not be televised, but maybe, maybe it will be on Zoom. So this is something I want you folks to be thinking out about there. Again, when we're dealing with COVID, we're dealing with the ramifications, not just of COVID, but with the ramifications of how our uh, government, uh, governments are dealing with COVID and asking, is, is there a better way? I don't know, is there a way to do what we wanna do? And maybe is there a way to do what we want to do that's actually better than what we thought about before? I don't know. What is the answer? Who the hell knows? I'm not here to give you answers. I'm just here to give you more interesting questions. So anyways, if you haven't thought about Zoom, take a look at Zoom. And if you haven't, uh, if you haven't seen it, again, I have this uh, whole office hours thing. So I actually... Uh, I actually live, so I was able to live stream. So I had my Zoom call and I was able to live stream it to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to YouTube. And so I have this office hours video right now. Um, and uh, again, this, this guy was out of Chicago. Uh, oh, who was he? He was out of, he was out of uh, New Jersey. Um, then we had, um, he, he was out of Eastern Europe. Man, isn't that fucking amazing? I mean, I'm just sitting here in my little basement talking to all these people. Uh, another guy, he's out of New Jersey. Uh, and then I forgot the New Jersey people. Uh, there we go. Then we had, uh, this guy is uh, Portuguese uh, for, in Germany. Uh, then we had, uh, so Ethiopia. I mean, look at this. I'm having a conversation. I mean, think about this. I am having a conversation with somebody in Ethiopia. That's just like, that's just whack. 
just so what? It's just like so, so whatever to think about. It's a hell of a thing. Uh, we had this person. I'm not sure where she was from. Um, and then after that, uh, Bangalore. This guy's from Bangalore. All these people. I just sat here for two hours and did a question and answer session with all these folks. I don't know. I find this to be fascinating. This, this is why I'm not a real geek, because I just find this to be fascinating as hell. Anywho, with that, I will see you all. See you all at the next video.